currently in Iran, we are going through a big amount of riots going on, a lot of protesting, or a revolution, if you will. The reason why is because the people there are thinking that the previous election they just had a few days ago was rigged. Now, they have decided to do a recount, and I'm really not reporting news because, quite frankly, whatever is going on with this election, I am not truly totally interested other than the fact of what this means towards the 2012 Mayan calendar consciousness. There has been, for years now, there has been warnings on the internet about what the prophecies by almost any religion, and if you include the Mayan religion as a religion, they all point to about the same kind of things. We are talking, well, the weather changes that are going to be going higher. Just look back and see what's happened over the last, not only 24 months, but decade. And then you can see how it's starting to make sense, whether it be droughts, whether it be floods, hurricanes, volcanic eruptions, it's all the same. Riots and protesting, and I mean, it's not just happening in Iran. I mean, we've seen a lot of it happen in Eastern Europe and in many other parts of the world also. And it's even going to get to the point of a major event, a catalytic event that's more devastating than 911. That to me is almost a guarantee now, as sad as it is to say, but it's all about being realistic. Would it be a nuke by North Korea? It might be, but it might be something you don't even expect. The reason why is because these prophecies are not to be laughed at. They're not to be joked around with. Myself, when I first started hearing about these prophecies, I can admit, yeah, I was scared of the information they were telling me. But instead of going out and panicking, instead of denying it and saying, oh, no, it can't be, I decided to research it more. Because if you were just to go panic, that means you're letting the fear get the best of you, which, quite frankly, not a good idea. And if you're just going out there saying, denying it, oh, it can't happen because you don't want it to happen, once again, you are denying who we are. So when you look at these prophecies and you say to yourself, wow, I mean, this stuff looks real, then, or it could be real, or your research is showing you that it might be real, what to do now? And the big thing all of it is really breaking your fears. So if breaking your fears means that you want to be part of this revolution, but you're too scared to riot and you just sit at home twiddling your thumbs, hoping things are going to be better, they win, you lose, because you haven't broken your fears. Now, if you break your fears, you go out to the streets and you tell them that you've had enough, you want your freedom, that you want this stuff to stop, you win. That, that is the type of things that I'm saying. Now, I'm not saying that I want you to go out and protest. I'm saying that if this is something that you want to do, it's going to happen that it's just part of the changes that is happening and breaking your fears in whatever manner it is, is a positive. And whatever way you break your fear is going to help. Because if you come out to yourself and say, oh man, life sucks, the world's going to end, blah, blah, blah. The law of attraction energies that you're sending out is that of a negative energy and the manifestations are going to be more harsher, meaning the nukes that are going to hit wherever are going to happen. It means that the hurricanes that are going to destroy cities, the tsunamis that are going to destroy cities, the volcanic eruptions that are going to destroy areas are going to happen more frequently and at a higher intensity. So. The Iran protests were part of that. So, what I'm saying is remove your fears and do what it is you feel that is in your best interest. If it is to try to prosper during the economic situation, good luck to you. If you want to just go out and tell the government you've had enough and that's it, good luck to you because this really does look like these prophecies that they talk about. It doesn't matter which religion you refer to because they all point to the same thing. That was my big eye-opener. Okay, so we got the Christian religion talking 
about a rapture. We got the I Ching, which is a Chinese religion that's talking about the same things. We got the Mayan calendar, the Anunnaki's that are talking about the same type of thing. Webbot, which is talking about the same thing. And the political atheist, Mr. Gerald Salente, which is talking about the same types of things. So does that not make sense that it's most likely going to happen? And I mean, people talk, well, another Y2K issue is coming. You know what? You're right. It is going to be another Y2K, but not exactly how you think about it. It's a, a spiritual Y2K, if you will. More on that later when I know more on that. But nonetheless, this is another 2012 sign. There is going to be an increased amount of these things happening. They're going to happen more frequently and at higher intensity scales based on the research that I have done on the Mayan calendar and pretty much the same religions are saying the exact same type of thing. So if you deny this is happening, I will pray for you and hope that some way things are all going to work out because denying who you are from the psyche that I know is a very harmful event in my opinion. Peace and light everyone.